in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Great is thy faithfulness Great is thy faithfulness It's morning by morning New mercies I see All I have needed That thy hands have provided Hold on Take note of what provided it. Thy hands has provided. Not my ah. gifts have provided. Hey. All that I needed, thy hands has provided. Great is thy, thy faithfulness. Great is thy Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. On Christ the solid rock I stand, truly all on the ground is sinking sand. All on the ground is sinking sand. We are calling your name so that the nations will not confuse who is the doer of these things. It is possible for your people to believe Joshua Selman is the doer. It is possible for your people to believe it is the wisdom of man. But we call that name Jesus. Jesus. The wonder walker. Jesus. The healer. Jesus. The restorer Jesus the mighty one Jesus the redeemer Jesus the baptizer Jesus the imparter what's that song take it higher for me just one more song and then we'll sit down you have captured my heart Consume my heart with your love. Oh, We're singing this to Jesus, a love song. You have captured my heart. Consume, consume my heart, my heart with your love. 
Koinonia, lift your voice, lift your hands you and let's sing this song heart. again. My heart, my heart consume my heart. Consume my heart. Song I love. If, if all, all I, say, I say is Jesus, sing that name. If all I say is Jesus, 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 more If all I say is Jesus, if all I say is Jesus, if all I say is Jesus, the Savior, Jesus, the Healer, Jesus. That's the more Christ, than enough. The living one. Somebody say, if all I say. Jesus, 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 that's more than enough. If all I say in Jesus, if all I say in Jesus, yeah. Jesus, Jesus, that's more than enough. I want you to just whisper that name to him. Let the nations hear you say it. Some of you have not called that name in a long time. You have called talent. You have called gifts. You have called money. You have called men. But you've forgotten. You've even called God. But you've not called Jesus. Let your spirit get used to that name again. The name that is given unto men. By which men are saved. Soteria. Healed. That's changed. That's the name that heals cancer. That's the name that delivers. The name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of the Lord is not the identity of a God. It's a strong tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Dependable. Reliable. Hallelujah. Jesus, Son of God, I believe in you. Just play it lightly. I believe in you. The meeting is already on. This is the person we introduced there at night. Jesus, Son of God. I believe in you. I Hallelujah. Listen. You. There is Jesus, the footballer. There is Jesus, the activist. There is Jesus, the Mexican. So that we don't mix this thing. The, we are talking about the Son of God. They called Paul and, and Barnabas. They said one was Zeus and Hermes. They were in the similitude of sons of God. But he said, I saw the fourth man in the fire. And his fashion was like the son of God. Like the son of God. Let me tell you the truth. Don't you ever think we are wasting our time. If, if you come into God's presence, the protocol is that in all your ways, you must acknowledge don't you ever call acknowledging him a waste of time I believe in you let's just sing it one more time to the glory of your name Jesus Son of God I believe in you Tonight, Lord, be glorified in this place. We hand over this meeting tonight. Lord, there are sick people in this place trusting you for miracles. There are oppressed people trusting you for breakthroughs. Who but you is able to wipe the tears of men? Who but you is able to bring your word with power? We have acknowledged you before the nations let them know unashamedly 
that Jesus is the doer of everything that happens in this house. He is the healer, the restorer, the changer, the transformer. Jesus, the merciful. Jesus, the judge. Jesus, the just. Jesus, the faithful. Jesus, the provider. We acknowledge you tonight. Spirit of the living God, you have come as a representation of that glorious presence. We ask, oh God, that you will bless your people. Let this not be a ritual, a waste of time. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You see, brothers and sisters, when we do these things, it's not an invention of man to run a service. Everything that is of God, God does not leave men to guess how to do it. There is a pattern. Are we together? Your own is to discover that pattern and foolishly, sometimes childlikely, walk in it. Results are for children in the kingdom. Those who can be childlike enough and say, Lord, if a dance is the secret to this breakthrough, I will dance. Oh. If my tears is the secret, I will cry. Hmm. If it takes my worship, I will give it. If it takes my obedience, I will give. This, this human invention will never give us the kind of results we are looking for. He said, let the little children come to me. He said, and do not forbid them for, for such. In other words, that is the template. That is the state it takes to receive from God. You see the miracles that happen in this ministry? When I sit down and I listen to the testimonies, let me tell you this. I am as not necessarily surprised, but I am as blessed as those who are listening. I also come looking forward to hearing what God has done. Because let me tell you something. God doesn't have an advisor. So when we come to him, we, we wait to see his wisdom. What he has done and he's doing in the life of men. Nicodemus came to Jesus in John chapter 3 by night. He said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God. He said, for no man. That means this result is not in the realm of men. No man can do this thing. However, if God be with that man, then it can be possible. So the secret is God. We know that thou art a man sent from God. For no man, no man can cause the barren to have a child. No man can cause HIV to go. Brothers and sisters, if it was easy, even herbalists would not be looking for customers. As, as fetish as it is, they too, they are trying. So when you see us worship him like this and sometimes do foolish things, you see people rolling, that's how it is. So that's the ancient secret. Stupid people in his presence who do foolish things, foolish enough for them to fail. And he picks them up. Because you see, when you declare to God that you don't have any other option, you put pressure on his integrity. And you commit him. Hallelujah. If this is all we do, this service, to just sing and dance and roll, I tell you, we can roll from left to right. And that's how someone will be rolling his reproach away. Never participate when you are in a service and there's a time for extreme worship, especially when God, by his sovereign hand, begins to extend. There is a way you know that this one is no longer what was rehearsed. This is God extending. The Spirit of God is now coming in because he knows what you are looking for and he's directing you on the path to get it. The flesh will fight because your reputation will come in. The flesh will fight because you say, I'm tired, oh, bring the rema. God is not in this place as a tenant. He's here as the Lord, the master, the owner, the guide. We only follow unashamedly. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. And the Lord honor you. Please sit down. We're going to be very brief tonight. Tonight I want to minister to people. Um, 
so i'll be very i'll just wrap up the gift of the spirit very quickly i sensed a very strong grace to minister to people and that's what i want to do um very briefly we'll just wrap it up and so i, I want it to be very very sensitive I want to bring out a prophetic word that the Lord gave me. Listen, this is especially, please listen. This was on Tuesday, 9.24 a.m. in the morning, Tuesday 17th. This is what the Lord told me. And listen, especially worshipers. He says, restore the ministry of the stringed instrument. Restore the ministry of the stringed instrument. I called them and I said, you should get me a guitar restore the ministry of the stringed instrument there is a move of god that the stringed instrument will bring this is what god told me restore the ministry of you see this thing you see you people don't have an acoustic guitar here bring it jesus will lift up your name please quickly Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Hallelujah. Now, please look up. You see, this thing you see is not an instrument, it's a formula. Spiritual things spiritual things are formulas the clash of the symbol is a formula the keyboard and the sound that comes out is a formula the string instrument was a mystery david understood he said praise him with the ten stringed instrument are we together yes there is a sign that i can give you because i've not taught you to understand the meaning you would think i'm talking nonsense but the person i've trained to discern i can tell a jimmy every time you hear ha ha it means stand up you will not stand up because you don't understand so while you are playing the guitar your mind is unfruitful but your spirit in connection with the holy spirit understands the exact communication there was a move of god in this city that this instrument brought everybody was learning it whether they knew it or not they were not learning it by skill they were moved holy men were moved by the spirit to help him introduce a thing you see let me tell you we must be like the sons of Issachar we must sustain an understanding to know when the spirit of God is moving in a certain way and this is what the Lord spoke to me on Tuesday I asked them I said you guys should look for a guitar quickly and bring it set this up and play something play minus where's david dam just or anybody just sit down let it let it join what we are doing and just play this he said restore the ministry of the stringed instrument the ministry that psalmistry the hallmark of psalmistry was not singing it was the stringed instrument there was something that david played it was a language that the demons understood and they left the lord told me there is a move of the spirit that this stringed instrument will bring so wherever you have kept your guitar dust it even if it's three keys you can learn sit in the night and just play and sing and let songs come from the spirit there are no songs you will teach anybody you will even forget it the songs are for the lifetime of your worship at that moment when the worship is over you will remember the song again there were realities captured from the spirit to help you take you see let's understand what the spirit is saying because when god is speaking like this there is an intention so he tells you by his spirit this is what i want to do this is how i want to move like i want to come to your house and i tell you that that I, I want to come to your house and you hear me telling you that i want to eat rice and chicken i have told you what i want to it is left for you to honor me you can decide to cook yam and say i i made up my mind to, your cooking rice is a sign that you honor me because i told you this is what i want there is a move of the spirit i say it again 
there are nations over 45 47 nations hearing us following us i'm saying this to all it doesn't matter what time zone and what nation there is a move of the spirit that the stringed instrument will bring the grace that was on miriam it was miriam that wrote that song on the stringed instrument that i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously to the point that the bible even told us in revelations that we will sing the songs of moses moses was not a musician but there was an order of the spirit there was something let me tell you the spirit of prophecy is one of the mysteries that are tied to the string instrument he said bring me a mistrel and while he played the hand of god came upon him and he said you shall not see wind you shall not see rain you shall not see wind you shall not see rain you shall not see wind where's david Dam? he's gone he's not around just play up not you shall not see wind he's called the god of jeshurun it's a name not many people know the god that rides upon the wings he rides remember that when the angel came in the days of samson menoah he set a sacrifice it was through the sacrifice that the angel rose and went there are healings there are miracles i'm going to round up on the gift of the spirit but i want you to be sensitive god wants to do something hallelujah god wants to do something any of the overflows it doesn't matter where just be sensitive just be sensitive be sensitive be sensitive i'm seeing like a crown of fire this is what i'm seeing coming on people's heads inside outside i'm seeing like a crown this is what the lord is showing me and this is taking people to another dimension the lord is saying you have encompassed this level it's time for you to be open to a new dimension you will never be the same never be the same it is by the spirit by the spirit there are limitations that has kept you this thing is like an enthronement it's not everybody but there are few people it's for you that's why you came for the meeting it's a ranking in the spirit something is being deposited in your spirit man that will give you capacity let's just flow with the spirit adonai adonai Adonai, Adonai, there is no one like you. Zion's king, incense rise, hearts resound. Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Hallelujah. 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 I'm seen like a knife. Please just allow me to do my stupid. Is, is it all right if I just flow in the spirit? Is that okay? I'm seen like a knife. A knife. And this is like deliverance for families. I'm seen like a, not a sword, a knife. A knife and god is saying he's bringing to end captivity captivity over families he's bringing to end it doesn't matter how long it is it's like a knife a knife is not warfare a knife is sacrifice god is saying there's something you have done your sacrifice has risen like an incense to the heavens and god is responding to it tonight sacrifice 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 i'm still seeing this knife everywhere overflow one two around everywhere 
God is visiting families. There is something about your prayer. You have been praying for months. Lord, will you not arise? And God says, I am still the God of Jeshurun. The one that arises on the wings of the winds. The God of Jeshurun. Adonai, Adonai, of Israel, Adonai, Adonai, there is no king just like you, rich and powerful of love, majestic throne of Zion. King, incense rise, hearts be sound, Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Hallelujah. Just one more prayer and then we'll sit down. Hallelujah. I'm seeing horses, chariots, chariots running, and the Lord is saying He's bringing His word to pass over people's lives this is not everybody but i'm seeing chariots chariots and i speak it by the spirit i speak it by the spirit i'm seeing chariots and god is saying he's bringing his word is is a chariot remember there is one that rides upon the horse in revelations he said his name is the word of god the one upon the horse giving a name that no man knew he had a name written upon his thigh fire came out from him and before them he said his name is the word of god we release performance we release performance grace for performance i don't know what god has told you but we release the grace for performance grace for performance there is a grace that reveals things but there is a grace that makes what is revealed happens there is a grace that reveals things but there is a grace that makes what is revealed happen Grace for performance. Grace for performance. Hallelujah. Please sit down if you can. Let's just be sensitive. Whatever position, just sit somewhere and let's just talk. God is doing something heavy this night. God is doing something heavy this night. I don't know who this is for, but the Lord is saying, I'm rolling away your reproach. I'm rolling away your reproach. I'm rolling away your reproach. Someone's reproach is rolling. I'm rolling away your reproach. I'm rolling away your reproach. That's what God is saying. I'm rolling away your reproach. I keep speaking like this because of what I'm seeing. I'm rolling away your reproach. 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 I'm seeing a family, no marriage. I'm rolling away your reproach. I'm rolling away your reproach. Please help them. I'm rolling away your reproach. I'm seeing someone you have spilled over like twice. I'm rolling away your reproach. The Lord is saying, I'm rolling away your reproach. You may not see wind, brothers and sisters. You may not see rain. But my God is rolling away your reproach. Don't ask how it will happen. I told you it's called the God of Jeshurun. Don't ask how it will happen. No. Don't ask how it will happen. Mary said, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man. For with men it is impossible. But with God, with God, with God. When you bring God inside the equation, everything changes. Everything. Everything changes.
Hallelujah. Please be seated if you can. Ah. When the waters is stirred like this, it takes an extra grace to now settle down and teach. We must learn to be sensitive. When God comes like this, it's not the display of the anointing of a man. No. No. It is the desperation of the needs of God's people rising from heaven. God is a God that cares. But until he finds vessels that can allow him space, it will look as if he does not care. Help us, Holy Spirit. Please sit down. Hallelujah. Jesus. You can find someone and sit, David. Just strum them and play it. And then um, let's see how far God will take us tonight. Amen. 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 Where did we stop? Let me talk about interpretation of tongues. We're still on the gift of the Spirit. Why am I teaching the gift of the Spirit? Because they are the equippings of the Spirit to individuals and to the body to help us to be effective. Zeal is not enough in serving God. We must have the empowerment. And saying you are anointed is generic. The anointing it's like saying you have food in your house. Food can be anything. The gifts of the Spirit defines the operations of God. I already told us that there are not nine gifts of the Spirit. The Bible never records that there are nine gifts of the Spirit. Paul gave that theological classification. The whole theme of um, 1 Corinthians 12, 13, 14 is found in first corinthians chapter 14 verse 40 that all things be done decently and in order so paul was creating an apostolic system to coordinate the operation of the gifts so that it will edify the body and then not destroy the people but he never taught us that there were nine gifts the classification was just a theological guide to help the people the gifts of the spirit are as vast as his person there are dimensions you will see operating that you may not exactly find it in the Bible there. And if you do not have this understanding, you can reject it in a bid to not come under the influence of a spirit. Of course, theologically speaking, we can agree that there are nine gifts as revealed from scripture. But when you walk with God, you will find out that there are operations, there are administrations, and there are diversities. So Paul told us that. The interpretation of tongues. I will run very quickly. That's where we stopped. The interpretation of tongues is the ability to translate divine utterances into an earthly recognizable language for the purpose of reception and edification. The ability to translate divine utterances. The ability to translate divine utterances into an earthly recognizable language for the purpose of reception and edification it was paul in first corinthians chapter 13 who taught he said though i speak with tongues of men and tongues of angels so he lets us know that there are languages the word tongue is an ancient english word for language there are languages that are given to men Igbo, yoruba hausa you know and all of that but there are languages of angels they, they are heavenly communications that are out of the scope of the natural man. And there are times that God grants people access to communicate these languages. Are we together? That's what the Bible calls the gift of diverse kinds of tongues. We settled that already that the gift of diverse kinds of tongues is not the same as the gift of tongues as a prayer language. No. The gift of diverse kinds of tongues is prophecy in a heavenly language, in an unknown language. A spiritual communication that is prophetic in nature to the body. God speaking to people through a vessel in a language that is not known by the communicator. And this gift, the interpretation of tongues must come upon the same communicator or another person.
to translate it into an earthly language so that the people can say amen let it come we receive we believe we receive we release our faith this has happened to many of us while we pray it's just because it sounds like your tongues for prayer so you will not know the difference but when you begin to grow to be spiritual you will get to a point where when you are praying you know that this is not your prayer language of tongues again this is an intercourse happening between you and the spirit is a language many times you will find yourself interpreting it by yourself like prophecy or you will find somebody who is not even connected to your prayer shouting your answer somewhere on the floor while you are there praying someone is rolling near a roof or a door somewhere prophesying your answer are we together kenneth e hagen walked very lavishly in all the nine gifts as we know and many times in his meeting he walked very strongly much more than any man of god i know in the gift of diverse kinds of tongues and interpretation of tongues you watch his materials and you see him many times prophesying in fact he was so meticulous in his communication there are times that he would talk and stop himself you say no this is not consistent with the spirit of god rebuke himself and start again look for another tongues the gift of interpretation of tongues it is needed there are communications let me tell you the truth there are many things god has been telling us but we do not sustain this gift that's why we do not understand the bible says he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit saith to the churches that means the spirit is speaking but his system of communication among others is the ability to grant you access to revelations through a coded language that is heavenly we see an example of that in the days of belshazzar the bible says while they were celebrating in the temple with the vessels that they captured from the house of god all of a sudden a finger wrote on the wall mene mene tekel ufesen it was a language that was not known they used divination astrology they could not figure it out and when daniel came he looked at it and then he sustained this ability now he didn't know that this was the, the gift of the spirit did not start working in the new testament they were coordinated and theologically explained in the new testament the gift of the spirit have been as long as human vessels gave god room to manifest so daniel came and by this gift he said he looked at it and said mene mene oh king this is what god is saying whether they understood or not god will still punish the king for sure he was just informing them oh king you have been weighed in a balance and you have been found wanting this day your kingdom is taken from you that was the speakings of god but it took a man who had this understanding to communicate it the next gift quickly prophecy prophecy first corinthians chapter first corinthians let me open there so that i'll be sure that fourteen now first corinthians fourteen there's one verse okay verse three first corinthians fourteen and verse three paul still speaking he said but he that prophesieth speaketh on speaketh unto men to what edification and exhaustion and comfort he that prophesies he that prophesies speaks to men your prophecy should do three things number one edification building exhortation and then comfort what is prophecy the supernatural ability to reveal events informations the supernatural ability to reveal events and information prophecy is always futuristic in context except where it is a declaration of the word of god over a situation the manifestation of prophecy the character of the prophetic is such that the communications are of things that have not physically manifested yet are we together now when it is past and present that's the word of knowledge the gift of the word of knowledge 
oh pastor alpha this happened today this is what god is doing now that's word of knowledge this is what god is going to do tomorrow by this time tomorrow that was not word of knowledge that was prophecy are we together now now let me tell you this every prophet everybody called into the prophetic office must have this gift at work in him but not everybody manifesting the gift of prophecy is a prophet are we together here is the confusion the fact that i'm seeing things and saying things does not mean i am i can be called into the prophetic office for a long time and never see anything and never foretell yet i am a prophet an example enoch was a prophet there's not much we see about enoch's prophecy john the baptist was not just a prophet the greatest of all the prophets until christ yet he did very little of revelation there are very few times we just see him acknowledging and say behold the lamb of god who takes the sin of the world and said the one who trained me in the wilderness told me the one upon whom i see the spirit descending not much was said in terms of you know prophecy to nations like jeremiah and the rest are we together prophecy is a very powerful gift now i know that there has been an abuse of the prophetic you know like um i don't know who was sharing testimony here there are marriages that have broken because of prophets and prophecies there are individuals whose lives have been destroyed because of prophecy and all of that there are people who were doing well until a prophetic word came into their lives is that true they made them leave their wives leave their husband give away their children sell their property give their car and all kinds of things there must be a balance in the communication of the prophetic now i don't have time to now tell you the history of the prophetic in nigeria and africa specifically but i just want you to know something about prophecy everybody listen prophecy is very important for the end time now it is true that there are imbalances it is true that there is a lot of falsehood there are people who have developed such a resentment for prophecy justifiable re resentment because of the way it has been misused and has been merchandised people have extracted money from people in the name of the lord people have forced people into marriages that are not the will of god because of all kinds of hilarious visions and dreams that came from everybody match make people into doom just because of this you see that the bible tells us certain things about prophecy we must take note of number one is that we see in part and we prophesy in part this is a very big revelation the most accurate of all of us still sees in part and prophesies in part number two the word of god has given to us the bible calls it a more sure word more dependable more reliable meaning if i never have an individual speak a prophetic word over my life and i can have access to the word the word of god will carry out that prophetic ministry over my life this is very important number three this the prophetic is the office with the highest propensity of falsehood you hardly hear false apostles you hardly hear false evangelists you hardly hear false teachers false pastors but you hear in the bible repeated false prophets again and again and again because of the inclination with the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit is a is a realm like the physical realm the realm of the spirit is not heaven that you are open to the realm of the spirit does not mean you are open to heaven any spirit that can access the realm of the spirit has an advantage over this realm including that of a herbalist so that someone is communicating a, a divine information that is out of the scope of the physical realm does not mean it is of god this should not create cynicism that's why every true manifestation of prophecy must be within the boundaries of the word of god are we together watch this come pastor alpha if I stand and God opens my eyes please listen or the Holy Spirit speaks to me or I have a vision prophetic now 
and I see Pastor Alpha having an accident. Are we together now? Or in my vision, for instance, I see Pastor Alpha beating his lovely wife. Now, you see, I have received that. My renewal is what will be responsible for the way to be transferred. I judge what I see and I know that it is not consistent with the character of God. Are we together now? My understanding the word of God and understanding the nature of God will be the template I will use in interpreting that prophecy. You don't expect me to look and say, Pastor Alpha Nawao, so this is how you are beating your wife. No, no, no. Automatically, I know that God is revealing to me the plot of the enemy over his life. So the nature of my speaking to him will be such that this is what the devil wants to do. But then victory. I don't have to see victory. It is part of being a word addict to prophesy the victory and say, I see it. But this addition is consistent with the word of God. If all I say is, Madam, next week you are going to receive a beating from your husband. If it does not happen, I'm not a man of God. You see, I may have seen correctly, but my lack of understanding the word of God has misinterpreted it. And by so doing, you have misrepresented God over this situation. Am I fake? No. Am I renewed? No. And it's misrepresenting God. Every manifestation of the prophetic must be with a very thorough understanding of not just the word of God, but the character of God. What God can do and what God cannot do. Are we together now? Yes. There are things I will see about Pastor Alpha. I will not even need to tell him. You see that my understanding of God is and my knowledge of God and the gravity of what I have seen is such that if I tell Pastor Alpha, the nature of what I've told him will occupy his mind and put fear. And so I judge what I'm about to say on the strength of certain things. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Number two, Philippians 4 verse 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are true, my introducing that word has a propensity to corrupting his work with God. So I will reserve that prophecy and intercede for him. If in the place of intercession, the Holy Spirit beckons on me to still reveal to him, then I can come and reveal to him in such a way that I exalt the power of God above that situation. Interpretation, interpretation is as dangerous, wrong interpretation is as dangerous as error and lies. Listen, I can be here right now. Are, are, you, are you getting blessed? I can be seated here right now. And all of a sudden, God will open my eyes. Watch this. I can see a Jimmy in a vision. And see Pastor Alpha's wife. And then see two of them holding a child. Did I see correctly? Yes. Now, you look at this complicated vision. I, I coined a vision like this for on purpose. Now, what is this mystery I'm seeing? A Jimmy is married with his wife and his children. Now I'm seeing a Jimmy standing, Pastor Alpha's wife standing, and they are holding a child. Let me tell you what a very foolish man of God will do. You will bring that thing like that with the heat that it came with from the realm of the spirit and tell a Jimmy's wife, I say, Madam, just many things are happening. That's what I what are you doing you are destroying someone's marriage it's not consistent with the will of god are we seeing now you are planting distrust between pastor alpha and his wife are we together now when you see a thing like that your first assignment is to be able to judge by the operation of the word what mean these things it could be similarity in visions it could mean similarity in operation that there is a gift that baby being a representation of a dimension of the spirit that is being birthed that is similar to a Jimmy and the wife are you seeing that now but because you have not taken out time to judge you just say everything and destroy people's lives another example let me have a lady come my dear my come Let's assume that these people are a wonderful couple, husband and wife. Are we together? They came for koinonia. And now, let's assume I'm a foolish man of God. And 
I have seen this kind of thing. Watch this. I'm not, I'm not being cynical. You know that I love the body of Christ and all. I'm just trying to give us understanding. Because this is a very serious thing. It has destroyed people's lives. Now, this is husband and wife. Do you know, watch this. God can open my eyes. And I can look at this lady in the spirit. And see how it haunts. Yes. The nature of spiritual interpretation is such that you see the realm of the spirit. You know how you watch cartoon or some of these scientific movies. That's how the realm of the spirit really works. I can look and see this woman with horns and just tap the husband and say, Oh God, you mean how long did you say you have been with this woman? And I just clap my hands and I say, That you arrived here and this woman didn't kill you. The innocent woman is standing and saying, I love this man with all my heart. What is this nonsense you are saying? Are you seeing now? Now, the man of God truly saw a horn. And he's saying, I know what I saw. This woman is a witch. Oga, your whole business and your life has not been working. And it is true. Your life has not been working. But because this person does not understand the character and the operation of the kingdom, his interpretation is faulty. Are we together now? And then I now tell him, Mr. Man, the best thing to do is to do what Abraham did to Hagar are we together now I would justify that because that story is in the Bible I told you that the Bible is a prophetic book you can make it preach anything you want that it is in the Bible does not mean it is of God the part in the Bible that resonates with God's character is the Word of God are we together now so I look at this what God may be revealing to me listen is that there is a problem it is true that there may be a problem in this woman's life it could be hereditary it could be an operation of darkness that satan is trying to bring he may not even have anything to do with her directly that has an effect on his marriage but because i do not understand it i destroy this dear lady's life embarrass her in the presence of everybody a business partner let's assume she's doing poultry a business partner that wants to make order of 500 chickens will cancel that thing after that prayer why will you want a witch to to bring chickens for you so that you're, you're, you you understand that kind of thing it's not easy to be a witch let me tell you this let me tell you this listen 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 don't go and study occultism but let me be honest with you the condition to be a witch this witch that we talk about and with witchcraft and wizardry in its in its most acute form is not something a human being can just become like that the condition to be a witch is the condition to receive the mark of the beast please help the person under the anointing so this dear lady now imagine that she's your choir mistress and you are a choir member will you listen to her again when you went for the program and you saw what happened and the worst part of it is if i now touch her and she falls down ah that's it that's the final proof that this woman is a and then the devil now starts using her face to oppress members are you seeing now just like some of you see the faces of innocent people and get up and hate them for nothing and the devil plays with your not understanding the word of god it's a rightly dividing the word. Jesus looks at Peter. Watch this. Peter just finished confessing that he was the son of God. And then Peter talks to Jesus. No, 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 no. Will you go to the cross? And he looks at him and says, Get thee behind me, Satan. And Peter is looking at him. And Jesus understood that if he left Peter like that, Peter may not have been an apostle. Peter would have been depressed to death. After three years of working with you, you call me a devil and say, no, 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 Peter, let me explain to you. That's what every man of God should do. Now that you have rebuked because of your spirit, intelligence must come in. He said, Satan desired to sift you. Satan and you are two different people. Desire to sift you like wheat all that shout was not hatred for you i have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen your brethren are you seeing that now that's why you can see people 
manifest sometimes they are manifesting receiving impartations other times they are manifesting and demons and, and all of that we thank god for that spiritual intelligence here that's why people can get up manifesting and not feel bad and not feel like the whole world is against them are we together now thank you god bless you prophecy must submit to the word of god for it to be accurate when prophecy becomes emotional when it becomes cultural when it becomes just a raw delivery of everything seen in the realm of the spirit it becomes a weapon of mass destruction the purpose of prophecy is for edification for exhaustion exhortation and for comfort prophecy does not condemn prophecy does not destroy even when god spoke to the prophets in the old testament he would always tell them what to do Nineveh, i'm about to destroy you people and this is what will happen however they declared a fast and the mercy of god came in remember the bible says the lord is full of grace the lord is gracious and compassionate right full of love i mean how did he put it now um rich in love the lord is merciful and compassionate he's rich in love his mercies are new every morning those of us here who are seeing visions having dreams document these things and seek guidance first especially when you are beginning to walk in the gifts of the spirit be careful don't authoritatively go and meet people they have a lot of respect for you and they will listen to everything i am careful when i speak to people because even when i joke they don't take it lightly i can be joking with somebody and say ah god bless you and the person wants to kneel down and i'm saying i'm a human being this is not anointing i'm joking just joking with you and you see the thing about the anointing is every time there is a demand whether you are joking or not that person can now fall down now embarrass me there and make it look as if you know i hardly have people to play with it's a very this this anointing sometimes is a very your life can be very very lonely someone sees you are trying to smile and the person is already believing that maybe it's, it's a word from god i am a human being jesus ate corn in the farm on sunday remember jesus was with a woman and they were talking i mean please and i think some of us is some of us men of god that make this happen you know the way we spiritualize it and make it look as if you are in the spirit every time it's a lie it's a lie it's a lie bible say walking in the spirit yes but it's not in the character of you can't smile you can't do anything you feel bad if if i am angry and i slap david dam's head I should just say sorry i shouldn't make it look as if it's the holy spirit that made me do it no this is i'm a human being i was carried away i got emotional and touched his head i'm a human being jesus was angry did he say it was the holy spirit who made him angry no prophecy but we need it now the last thing i'll say about prophecy before we move on is the fact that you must never resent it the resentment we have for prophecy we have mixed the baby and the bad water and thrown it away there are two dimensions of prophecy there is the revelatory dimension of prophecy there is the creative dimension of prophecy the revelatory dimension has to do with insight and information about people situations nations like jeremiah the creative dimension of prophecy is when you have the word of god alongside the grace for performance when the prophet said by this time tomorrow he was not revealing he was creating are we together now we must desire it the church that rejects the prophetic is going to be in trouble prophecy is very important a man's life can change overnight because of prophecy we have there are many of us if only we embrace the ministry of prophecy we would have left this realm left the current dimensions that we are, we are in but we've been grounded because of a cynicism the moment you see someone saying the lord is ah please all you this stupid especially if he's a young one 
that's why they see everybody they mix join all of us together and just throw all of us and make it look as if we're all demons no no hallelujah nothing happens in the earth realm until prophecy announces it nothing happens in the earth realm until prophecy announces it nothing happens in the earth realm until prophecy announces it prophecy is not just a revelation it's an authorization for spiritual things to find expression all through scripture you see angels bringing messages and heralding them before those occurrences begin to happen Let's go to the next gift, faith. There is the law of faith, an operation of faith. There is the spirit of faith. There is the gift of faith. What is the gift of faith? An unusual ability to believe God. An unusual ability to believe God that is higher and greater than your current world level higher and greater than your level of spiritual exposure there are times because you see generally speaking your faith level is proportionate to the level of the word of god that is in you your level of understanding of scripture and the ways of god is commensurate to your faith there are certain challenging situations in your life in leadership there are times that you need to bring certain realities from the realm of the spirit that is higher and bigger than your personal work with god at that point you don't just need the law of faith you need the gift of faith the gift of faith is always short-lived because under that influence of the gift of faith anything uttered will come to pass it is the reason why God does not leave people to walk with it for a long time because our own renewedness would destroy people's lives. The gift of faith is the operation of the faith of God, not faith in God. The very faith of God working in a human vessel. The faith that created the heavens and the earth, not the word of God, the very faith of God. An impartation of that faith to help you command realities that otherwise will not come that's why the gift of faith works peri with the working of miracles there are certain situations that are challenging higher than you do not even understand the dynamics of that result as it is but the gift of faith comes upon you the character of the gift of faith is unusual courage and audacity unusual courage it has happened to many of us in the place of prayer fear takes you to the place of prayer and you are praying and prophesying praying and all of a sudden an ability comes upon you and you begin to speak and say audacious things not even caring who is listening later when you hear what you say even you you are embarrassed by it it's a sign that you are not the one who said it I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ tomorrow by nine o'clock a helper is appearing and your neighbor is watching you say hey, hey I just gave this guy one spaghetti and this that's not you because I, let me tell you how you know that's not you by 12 30 you will sit down and say hey, why did I now embarrass myself you call it an embarrassment because your your original faith level has returned now and you are seeing that that faith level cannot accommodate that level of miracle but god had to move through you and truly you will see that a miracle will happen that's why you give him glory when it happens when they say man of god you quickly turn and say god is you one of the hallmark of the apostolic ministry is the gift of faith the gift of faith daring things by the gift that's why those who are called in the apostolic ministry if they don't allow the holy spirit to work on them usually they are very very arrogant very outspoken sometimes very sarcastic it's a side effect that comes with the office your intimacy with the holy spirit is a secret to correcting it so that i work in an apostolic office and i am arrogant and sarcastic and outspoken and some of these wrong things I may say it is how it is no your work with the Holy Spirit was designed to correct it 
it's like you are cooking in the kitchen the moment you put i i don't i don't have any business with the kitchen but i'm just saying what i remember i know that when you put palm oil in a hot pot what happens there's a side effect the whole kitchen and maybe the neighboring environment it can be choking does that mean you should stop the cooking people are hungry they are waiting for the meal but then you have to create a way of managing it so most times before women will start they will do it outside or they will open the window in advance that's how you work you must create a system with god to cover for the side effect that that operation comes you don't choke people and say you are you are boiling palm oil no if i keep insulting pastor alpha stupid you are crazy you are, you, are, you, are, you are a stupid person and then i say it is the anointing no it is not the anointing it is the effect of the anointing um yes but then the unrenewed part of me mixing with the anointing is what produces that outcome it can be corrected hallelujah that's why when paul finished giving us an exegesis of all the gifts of the spirit he said i show you a more excellent way a more excellent way of administering the gifts that if they do not work by love you are not operating the more excellent way are we together every one of us here will require this gift if you must get results in your life a day will come when your faith level cannot take the kind of miracles you need the urgency around it will require the gift of faith there are times you see during the miracle service i'm just walking and looking at people and i know that ah this situation is very challenging sometimes the people are waiting for me to come please help that person under the anointing and then the person can just whisper sorry sir i have hiv and this hiv self is not just me me my wife and my child you don't have to tell everybody now you are standing there or someone is saying he has tuberculosis and he's coughing in in your coughing before your face and you are inhaling the thing if this thing is not working in you you do this for five years the probability of catching tuberculosis is 100 percent 100 percent that's why we tell people to work with god before they begin to move in certain levels of ministry it's not pride you will if i've been faking this thing by now you will see it it would destroy you one day because you are laying hands on people it's not this laying on of hands is not something you do just because you are anointed that's why sometimes you see me pray for these people before we allow them to go it's not it's not some man of god thing you are contending spirits you can carry problems you have no business carrying leave someone land upon your life you finish that service you go back have you not seen people who minister to the sick and what was on them the person went back to sleep um, one leg did not he didn't he could not lift one leg again that boomerang effect i believe in the gift of faith let me submit to you that where god has brought us by his grace in this ministry is an operation of the gift of faith there was a year let me tell you a little story there was a year when early that year before koinonia will start god gave an instruction that we should carry every one naira in this ministry and sow it as a seed one week to koinonia resuming i can't remember which of the years was that everything i said god everything now let me tell you, you better make sure that that gift is working in your life because that's suicidal not that you should carry a sizable seed and go and give empty everything close everything and i did it foolishly and stupidly i submit to you in less than seven days more than 10 times that amount return it's faith you need it some of us right now you wrote your exams humanly speaking you are not going to graduate one you wrote nonsense two you didn't finish you need the gift of faith you need the gift of faith are we together yes there are wicked supervisors ready to make sure they frustrate you 
how about getting a job you keep carrying your certificate to everybody and say sorry we don't need what you studied and at a point you feel bad and say is it my fault that i studied this one day while you are praying the gift of faith comes on you and you make declarations by the spirit all of a sudden someone calls you you need it it is given to help believers our families many of us our families are in a mess we need the operation of this gift to correct things you see that lady that testified that was what was working in her the dear lady that said she went home gather your relatives what if it doesn't work do you know what it, you can be stupid by yourself but to gather relatives who are not born again and then it doesn't work Abba. the gift of faith when you have plan b it is your faith when there is no plan b it is the gift of if i perish that's what was on esther when she was on her way going to meet ahasuerus the destiny of the nation of israel was at stake and she entered if i perish ask her to say it after that time she won't be able to say it again hallelujah that was the grace that was at work in moses when moses went before god he said why are you crying to me moses said what is all this two million people are shouting these guys are going to kill me you don't know how hard how how hard hardened and hearted they are and god says go and and part the rivers theologically historically speaking um historians tell us that it's not like the river parted and they told people now walk do you know the miracles that happened there even if the river parted there's going to be space on the ground are you going to jump down won't you die so the ground had to lift and come up to where they were for them to be able to walk through it and moses took his rod stood before two point something million people and said people the egyptians you see today that's the spirit of faith I speak to someone or oh, the Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus Christ after this meeting you will see them no more forever I say it again the Egyptians you see today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ whose faith is at work here you will see them no more after today please sit down the gift of faith a man of God true story many of you will know him pastor Korede Komaya um, I think it was Bishop Aremu's wife Bishop Aremu's wife she, she do you know they have twins and she was sitting with the man's wife and then looked at him and said ah you said how many children do you have and she I think she had just maybe one or two then and she looked at her and carried her uh what is the, this thing ladies tie their head tie and threw it on her and said take twins joe that was it the woman got pregnant twins gave birth that's not guess that's not guess when you see it happen sometimes i see it happen i'm surprised somebody can come and while he's talking and giving every long explanation apostle this is happening it's like prophecy i don't even know when it comes out of my mouth i just say it is done go and you see the person living disappointed you didn't even wait for me to finish i struggled i joined the line i humbled myself what is all this let me express and then the person goes back and things change the gift of faith is powerful are we blessed the gift of healing jesus i wish i had time to dwell on this maybe we'll take another series next year what is notice that the bible does not say the gift of healing he said the gift g-i-f-t-s the gifts of healing what is it the ability to bring physical and emotional healing to people the ability to supernaturally bring physical and emotional healing you know years ago i really used to laugh at white people when i see all of them every little thing they cry every little thing they cry how did you get here and she's trying to explain just that there was a delay with taxi and then she starts crying they give her a hunger they say, what sort of human beings are this i mean just anything makes them cry men women but as i grew in leadership i found out that emotional brokenness is worse than physical sickness the bible says a broken spirit dry at the bones there is a way a man can be emotionally devastated and die 
not by any physical sickness are we together emotional wounds are created because of words and circumstances they are more hurtful if i slap you and the sign of my hand is on your face it won't reach two days that thing will disappear correct but if i speak something negative about your life you can hold that word for 10 years and it will not leave you is that true the same thing how many of you have seen people with diabetes and you see an injury that will not heal it looks like it will not and that's exactly what happens to the spirits of people hence the ministry of people like joyce mayer and all of this you can look at them and feel ah no falling down no shouting i tell you the truth they are doing a major healing ministry 95 percent of africans before age 15 have been raped by wicked words from the ones who call you stupid to the one who called you idiot to your teacher who said you will have a big head you are dull to the mistakes you made to the fact that you were the oldest person in your class baba class four you don't know those things were affecting you a broken spirit you get to school and everybody's harassing you people look at you and say i hope you know you're a very ugly lady i'm sorry i have to just tell you my mind and the person thinks he's been bold those that accumulation demon spirits find a safe haven in that mindset and it destroys you and you find out anything god tells you you just look at him and say god use somebody those kinds of words are reflections of emotions that have been broken that's why worship like this creates that kind of healing you can raise a song and while everybody is laughing only one person is crying that person is getting healed at the end of it is like you know how you bath someone just feels light feels i have been healed from this i have counseled people and i am amazed at the things people go through and yet they still smile and walk there are people if they give you half of the emotional load on their head it will kill you instantly yet they are carrying it and saying hallelujah praise the lord ah the bible says rejoice not over me my enemies there are many of our parents when they lost their last job they never got another one again do you know why because the way they disgraced them and drove them out of that company it was so embarrassing and they said i can't i can't do this to myself again sir but you are a phd holder no i rather remain poor after 10 years how about those who but please don't feel bad those who marriage did not work for have you seen people like that and after 20 years you tell them it's okay now i think you can get back i know okay maybe your wife died or something happened and they tell you look the memory is still as fresh as yesterday have you seen people say i will never forgive you till jesus comes that's what emotional devastation can do there are people here as i'm talking god is healing you from this because let me tell you it's a luggage oh i was raped when i was two years i was raped when i was five years the house boy that worked for us raped me some of us were raped by our own parents sadly are we together and you grow and those things are still in your mind i can never make it you wrote wire 10 times jam 11 times there is no understanding of favor so every time we say god is favoring people you don't look and say is it me you are talking to healing if you are not healed and god ever gives you an opportunity to be a leader you will judge everything from the template of your emotional wounds if someone laughs at you you say why are you laughing at me because you remember that that's how they laughed at you to mock you the person was laughing rejoicing with you but your cynicism you see that your wife just looks and says, ah my husband my husband and say please i don't like disrespect I say, ah, my husband i have told you this is how my mother did this is uh, must everybody know i'm the last one it's not about that situation there is something that has created a wound in you are we together there are some of you they use all kinds of words you had nicknames ugly nicknames and cliches some of you used to 
urinate in secondary school or primary school although you were it was a situation that required prayer and the adults there did not have spiritual intelligence to help and this i remember that time they would gather the person who is easy himself and sing songs and dance dance around dance and the person who the person who start like this with your bed sheet that you who urinated what a way of destroying people don't ever do that to anybody how about brothers that blast ladies you are not fine you are not this and they say i i i, I gave it to her well, how about the ladies that blast a guy she blasted him in 99 till now he has not approached any lady every time he wants to go that wound god is bringing deliverance in the name of jesus christ but there is a physical healing there is the physical healing the healing ministry is needed more than ever before I was listening to Benny Hinn not too long before I came and you know I hear him read these healing scriptures and I am touched we need to bring the healing power of God back to the church I tell you this there's too much there is very little of genuine healing not everybody is in a wheelchair but let me tell you there are people who need physical healing physical healing how God Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and the Bible says he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed healing oppressed healing oppressed every sickness is an oppression from headache to your hair falling to all of this i remember i think it was in mina or so when i saw a very touching miracle a gentleman that has never smelled anything in his life doesn't know how you put perfume he just looks at you you know what a bad way to live what of those who don't hear well what of those who don't see well all kinds of sicknesses The first time I would pray for a lady years ago and the lady told me she had no womb. I don't mean something was wrong. No womb. Anybody that doesn't believe in miracles, don't argue with the person. The day the doctor cannot help you, I promise you, you must believe. I believe in the healing power of Jesus. Or a robot will say this every day of his life. I am called to bring the healing power of Jesus to the nations he believed it are we together there are people here seated looking at me who have all kinds of things incurable diseases every time a medical predicament defies drugs and medical attention then there is a spirit behind it are we together now yes and let me say something about the gift of healing most people have been indoctrinated in the church to hate doctors and hate medicine i will never teach that you will never hear me teach that i believe in divine health i believe in all of this but day and night we are taking people to the hospital to take care of them we have lots of doctors here a few of them will be doctors by next week or week after next and all of that we we have a lot of our doctors yes you, you actually can clap i mean it's not all of them smiling already they will come and dance before god here to the shame of the devil so please don't get into this resentment i can't take drugs you are about dying just panadol will solve that problem now of course there are times that you stretch your feet if you stretch it and it doesn't seem to work take the panadol cure yourself and keep studying the word there is a realm of divine health i believe that are we together but we must never stigmatize people so you see people secretly buying drugs they buy malaria drugs they run and take injection for five days and come and hold the mic and say in the last 10 years i've not even taken paracetamol let's 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 be honest let's fear god jesus is called the great physician 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 say is there no bam in gilead praise god i believe in medicine and when you pray for people especially over a sensitive case 
don't stop them from taking their normal medication when they become healed medicine will confirm it are we together now especially for maybe hiv patients or people with some terminal diseases there are many pastors who have killed innocent people they prayed for the hiv patient for instance and said do you believe yes stop taking your antiretroviral drugs and the person was very fine but now after four or five months you find out that the person started emanciating and the person died when you pray for someone and it does not work please take the person to the hospital if you yourself are sick and you've prayed and prayed and nothing works you can still be declaring the word of god medicine is still a miracle you don't talk to the drug you swallow it the drug finds where your problem is the whole pharmacology behind that drug is a miracle so don't don't act as if you didn't tell the drug come to my ears you just swallowed it it's a miracle by god's grace we will never discourage people we have a first aid box as a ministry if someone collapses now under the anointing and all of that there is if he needs medical attention there are doctors here who will attend to him let's be responsible these are the things that try to make those who walk in power look like fools because we we keep killing people every day destroying people and not stopping you know stopping people from medical attention i don't do that tonight i believe that god is going to bring his healing power again to someone i believe in the ministry of healing i have been a victim of sickness so i know the relevance of healing i've shared with you my testimony when i had a fungal infection that ate my head pastor completely ate everything here you won't see one and um, it was just wounds everywhere i know the rejection that sickness brings i buy puff puff for people they won't collect it because my hand touched it even if i washed it in their presence can stigmatize you how about the woman with the issue of blood there are people living examples like that i remember praying for a lady who would bleed non-stop for sometimes like three or four months this lady can stand and be dizzy and just collapse like pass out we need to bring the healing power of god to people we need to let them see the power of god in their lives the devil is afflicting people with all kinds of sicknesses tonight in the name of jesus is someone's night the last gift of the spirit and then we will pray the walking of miracles what is the walking of miracles the ability to bring about supernatural results supernatural occurrences that are above the laws of nature the ability to produce supernatural results above and beyond the laws of nature the working of miracle defies process there is no process with the working of miracles now life is a process but the working of miracles what happened in samaria was a working of miracles by this time tomorrow the economy of a nation will be completely changed there are many of us who need miracles a healing is a miracle when it is instant when a healing is instant it's called a healing miracle miracles are not just limited to human bodies finances jesus performed that operation he said go and catch a fish open the mouth pick money out that's the working of miracles are we together now I believe in the working of miracles i've seen it happen in my life i've seen it happen in the ministry the multiplication of five loaves and two fish that was not just divine supply that was the working of miracles what of the the fish that they caught master we have toiled all night nevertheless at thy word and then he said cast your net to the right side and they caught so much fish they had to beckon on their partners what of ezekiel 37 restoration is a miracle bones that have gone and then the bible says something that always intrigues me when i read it it says bone was joined to its bone 
meaning no bone made a mistake every bone located the right one miracles someone is here and is in need of a miracle you are not sick in your body but there is a situation in your life that needs the intervention of god's hand if you go through the normal course of the law of process you may never be able to catch up restoration is one of those aspects in a man's life that requires the gift of the working of miracles and i will restore to you the years can years be restored i thought it's just material things that can be restored but god says no not with me when i can walk a miracle the bible talks about zion giving birth in one day that have you ever heard this he said as soon as zion travails she shall put forth her son let me tell you i want you to get ready for strange occurrences in your life things that will happen you will know that this is only god they will say but i know it took 10 years to build the house and he said my brother i was sitting down like this and a key came to me miracles the bible never said mary was pregnant for nine months no sir the angel never told mary according to the time of life it was never said that pregnancy was nine months miracles the nation of israel 430 years captivity in one night he said they chased them they didn't even allow their bread to rise they said please get out of this place are we together the lord has declared that this is a year of triumph let me tell you this i truly believe in restoration and i believe in speed pastor femi come pastor alpha come let me show you something very quickly and then we'll pray please stand here gentlemen just stand close to me watch this if pastor femi and pastor alpha are making progress in life this is them walking is that true and then something keeps pastor alpha down are you seeing pastor femi is moving forward now now pastor alpha start walking slowly this is progress not restoration restoration means he must be here because this was his original place now let me tell you what this miracle does it picks you and puts you so that if they check your life they cannot see where the delay was so when god says i will restore he didn't say i will release the force so that you make progress no sir there are many of us at your age there are things that should have happened what you need is not progress you need restoration restoration this gift of the spirit is a strange operation of the spirit where people's lives can change overnight overnight god can give speedo god can bring his word to pass in people's lives he said rejoice not over me my enemies oh the fact that i lost my job and you are seeing me and my wife we are just moving around and i'm not eating anything you are laughing but the day this god arises in 24 hours 24 hours i've seen god do things in my life that has brought tears tears in my eyes i said god so this is what you can do some of you have never been surprised by god there is a way god would do something your first cry is not the miracle is how it happened god i've always heard that you can move like this but this one that you have done it to me no lord i fear you he said he does these things that men will fear him when he does it he signs his signature on your life i am god jabez was a man who was born in sorrow the mother cursed him because of the pain he caused her and jabez said oh that thou wouldest enlarge me god even if you release me to start moving forward now when will i make it let me tell you we need speed in nigeria everything is against a young man's establishment everything if you are a ministry you need this gift in your life otherwise you will be in trouble nobody will give you chair nobody will give you canopy nobody will give you money if you don't know how to command miracles please help that person under the anointing there by the power of God. there are situations tonight that need to hear the word of the lord
God is a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. is God is. I know you are some miracle worker in my life, Lord. God is a glorious. Just sing it one more time to build faith in your heart. My God is. He's a miracle walker, miracle walker. God is your glorious God. One more time, say God is. He's a miracle, a miracle walker. God is a glorious there is hope for a tree even if it be cut there is hope there is hope apostle at my age i've not even gotten admission my brother there is hope this god in god's economy one plus one is not two oh. one plus one is any answer he gives any answer one plus one can be a car what is the relationship between alphabets and car the word of god one plus one can be breakthrough god can carry a man's lifetime achievement and give him one month listen this is not some get rich quick things i don't encourage people to be irresponsible but i'll be a stupid person to tell you i don't believe god can change people's lives overnight look at this ministry look at my life whoever told you god cannot arise for people listen if you don't believe what i'm teaching you you will struggle in your life as if god is not the part of scripture you believe is the part that works for you are we together listen if you are married and three years you've not had a child or four years you have not had a child if you have one child that's a testimony but that's not yet your portion if you have twins you have covered ground that's restoration i hear what i'm saying if you graduated 2000 and let's say six and by 2015 you cannot even rent a house if they give you a job with hundred thousand that's not yet your portion ah that's not your portion come on now how can that be your portion when somebody gets up and say i'm going abroad my house my car and the payment of the school fees i've left the lord say i should give you that's your portion now god is called the god of portions i know this about him righteousness and justice 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 she came to him and said avenge me my enemies the man neither feared god nor men but because she impersonated him listen let me tell you when i begin to pray and make demands over things in my life i don't spare i say god i'm not where i should be oh i'm not where i should be no i'm moving forward thank you but you said i will restore you didn't say i will make progress are we together yes that's how to pray lord as a lady i plan marrying 22 i'm 32 i can't just marry and continue you are going to find a way of carrying me hallelujah lord i would have gotten a job in 2010 the man said i should sleep with him and get the job but because of you i refuse now it's 2017 I'm seven years my payroll is seven years where is the window of heaven I place that demand and brothers and sisters you will see God do things that they will think you held a child the God that we serve the working of miracles God is truly a miracle worker I've seen him change people's lives I've seen him step into families 
this year God has done things in my life that brought tears in my eyes I said God what is this can you allow God use your life to reveal his name the names of God are a revelation of his possibilities there are names you are just calling but you have never really seen it listen early this year I taught on the gifts of men that thing was not a message it's a it's a fearful dimension of God that God brought me into where men stand up to solve your problems as if you charm them there is a grace that makes that happen you will never listen there are some miracles that if they have not happened in your life you will never have time to serve god let's tell ourselves the truth some of you have served god 10 years you are still begging for bread allow God to step in and do something for you you don't need you what you need is more than a job you need God to sign his name in your life how much is a job how much is hundred thousand you now have five children be honest will hundred thousand bless them when one child's monthly school fees is more than a hundred thousand you need the gift of the walking of miracles the wine finished in a feast the gift of miracles is a cure for embarrassment cure for embarrassment the wine finished and they went to him he said fill six pots alas master it was borrowed he needed the gift of miracles every time your life is in a point of embarrassment that's the gift you need I don't know how to make you believe this thing we are going to pray brothers and sisters before i begin to minister to us please i beg you listen listen i want you to be angry at your current level and say lord this is not what i agreed me and you this in the secret place i am not ungrateful but this is not our agreement by our agreement the level of grace i should be working in now your gift this is not the agreement lift your voice and pray bring forth your strong reasons the gifts of the spirit are the platforms to experience his possibilities
hallelujah i have to stop here so that we can pray i'm supposed to teach you how to receive the gift but just leave it we'll take it another time we have to pray this thing i've said i'm angry in my spirit we have to pray there, there are doors that we must force to open now there are doors that we must force to open let me tell you listen listen if you keep following your life casually you will never get some breakthroughs he said right from the days of john the baptist and until now the kingdom of god suffered violence and the violence will take it by force lift your voice and open your mouth announce things that must happen this night lord you gave gifts to men hey, your majesty your majesty your majesty your majesty your majesty Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Lakata kata 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 pras kata barakoto shopekiti. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty. Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your Majesty. He said, I will walk a walk in your days that if you were told, you will not believe it. I will walk a walk. There is something I want to do in your life. There is something I want to do in your life, in your family. I'd like you to pray one minute. Lord, I believe you all. I believe you. I believe you. Don't let the devil tell you you're wasting your time. Blessed is she that believes. Blessed is she that believes. Visit my finances, oh God of heaven. Visit my family. hallelujah hallelujah listen i want us to pray no matter what has left your life call it back call it back lift your voice and pray whether it's money that left your life call it back joy call it back even god who quickened the dead and call it those things call it those things call it those things call it back sakata parato shekete those outside make sure you are praying those following online pray call it back by the spirit of faith by the gift of faith we call back opportunities 
we call back graces we call back mantles we call back dimensions Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to pray just before I pray for us. I'm releasing my faith with you. I don't know what God told you should have happened and you have not seen it. I'd like you to insist now and say, God, I've not forgotten. I bring you to remembrance. Early this year, you told me, Lord, you told me I will be laughing by October. I'm not yet laughing. I place a demand. I put pressure on your integrity. Lift your voice, lift your voice. Place a demand. You said it. You can do it. You said it. You will make it happen. It is within your power. Shabakata praskalamato hallelujah 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 listen listen my bible says withhold not good to him that it is due when it is within your power to give the bible said it don't withhold good he said do not say unto him come today come tomorrow where you can do it now say lord now faith now faith i place a demand why wait tomorrow when it can happen now it is within your power it is within your power change my life now i place a demand Cry out for your finances. Cry out for your life. Abarato soto kabaradash lekata kata kata prasala balala balala bos. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I want you to believe God is giving people things as I'm talking. Listen. You won't cry forever. There is a God that is alive. I want you to believe this. I'm saying it. You won't cry forever. I come with an anointing in this place. I come with the anointing that follows this office. You won't cry forever. There is a God that is alive. 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 hallelujah the lord is showing me a family before the end of august four people getting a job the end of october four one two three four i'm declaring it 
I'm declaring it. It will happen to a family. Four people within two weeks. A supernatural door. That embargo of witchcraft is broken now. That embargo of witchcraft is broken now. I release the grace that makes this happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. cannot be done the holy one of israel had created it to create means to make out of nothing what needs to be moved should be moved what needs should be brought to be brought what is not there should be created 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 carry carry a, a potato wrap it somewhere make sure that there's no air there's nothing leave it there for a few days in spite of the fact that there's no air it will still rot and when you open the rot you will still see worms inside how they got there is a miracle that's the same way no matter how the enemy closes every access God says when did I start needing a runway when did I start needing ladder to come to the earth when did I start needing a loudspeaker for creation to hear me I am creator when God speaks it doesn't matter where it is even if the bones in the valley of Ezekiel are under the earth when his voice comes echoed by the voice of the prophet the bible says bone came out listen carefully if you don't believe what i'm teaching you are wasting your time here tonight take your eyes away from the mountains and say lord you are going to recreate my life there are things you will have to turn tonight around for me like the streams of the negev when you read further it says that those that 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 so in tears will reap in joy he didn't just say those that sow money you can sow prayer and he told you the prayer to pray turn again my captivity like the streams of the Negev in the last few months I have been so passionate about calling forth the creative power of God to assist men I am learning afresh again after many years that God can help men no matter who you are if God does not assist you start crying because life will beat you down to your knees and veto whatever you think is a basis of confidence he said some trust in horses and some chariots but we there is there are a group of people that would trust in the name of our God I trust God tonight to change our lives I trust God tonight to move in a way until it marvels you it is not yet a notable miracle scattered here tonight are men and women alongside the challenges and the obstacles that mock god in our lives we have come from far and near many of us made tremendous sacrifices the question is do you believe that this god that we serve 
that this God can choose by his wisdom and by his love and mercy to visit a family to visit a man that God looks at you and says I have decided to come to you I've decided to hold your hand I've decided to lift you I've decided to give you a testimony God comes to a beloved sister and say my daughter they have laughed at you now they are ready to laugh with you like Sarah I have come to uphold you I have come to wipe your tears I have come to prove to men that the rejected stone can become the chief cornerstone you are called of God but it's as if you are not called no anointing no results no testimony no one placing a demand on your grace but something happens to you God says I'm coming to assist you hold my hands God assists us by asking us to give him our hands do you know why because until your hand is holding him he cannot move you see let me tell you this your hand holding him is proof that you trust that he will move when your hand is still busy trying to walk it your way you don't qualify for his help when he wants to help you he says place your hand upon my hand and you are now going to use your faith from hence not your hand let me be the one using my hand to clear the way let me be the one to make a way in the wilderness let me be the one to make pharaoh give you gold i can give you gold by creating but let's make a caricature out of pharaoh pharaoh you are the one who will give that gold there is a name god is called the father of spirits understand the revelation behind that name every human being is a spirit he resides in a body but God is the father, the author. Every spirit hailed from him. It was out of his spirit that every spirit came about. And the Bible says he's the father of spirits. Meaning it is within his power to manipulate every human spirit to cause his purposes to come to pass. Any and every. I spoke to a man this morning before leaving. Um, very touching the man stood he had been trying to see me and then at the airport he was there with his children and I looked at the man all his children one could not pay his school fees for four years final year had written his last exam but because of school fees they are taking him back to 200 level because he couldn't pay the poor girl the daughter was there the man was there standing and I said this is the signature of Satan when satan comes to your life you can know he has a signature he will stamp it on your family do your worst he will stamp it on your destiny do your worst stamp it on everything around your life and when god comes to he will use his hand and erase it and said let me put my own and see who what devil will come to take it out of you i prayed for that man with all my heart I pray for him passionately in that state of poverty and penury the children and the man they put together a seed I, I, I said can I ever accept this I, I collected the seed I prayed with all my heart and then I said look I I place favor may your seed become a tray let me put something upon it for you it's called the favor of God go back with this anointing and let it turn your life around that's the works of darkness. Some of us are seated here right now. Our loved ones are in such kind of chaos. Satan. When Satan does a thing, you don't need to ask who did it. He does it so clear that men will know it's his finger. Please don't confuse the works of darkness with the works of God. The works of darkness is darkness. The works of God is light. That's why we're here. To disagree with Satan and insist until we see his power prevail over our lives. Is God speaking to us tonight? The captivity of Zion. The captivity in your family. The captivity in your life. What is that obstacle that stands before you on the next level? You see it, but to touch it, it looks like there is a resistance. There is a limitation. We are going to pray. Are you ready to pray tonight? And then I begin to minister to you by the Spirit. Oh God, turn again my captivity like the streams of the Negev. Lift your voice and cry. 
believe me brothers and sisters when you pray God hears you Turn again the captivity. Hallelujah. I like you to begin to mention by faith the things that must live your life this night, not tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray. Go ahead. Mention what must leave your life tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone sent a few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message. Please help those under the anointing there. A few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message to my phone. Out of seven graduates, nobody has ever been called for employment. Not even, not, I'm not talking of, I'm, I said, interview. Seven graduates, no one called for interview. And the gentleman, according to what he sent me, he said he went to bed in the night to sleep and he just slept and that's what he said he said he saw me in the dream i came and i prophesied it was like a koinonia service i laid hands on him and i mentioned the name of an organization that will call him true story he said he woke up physically with an alert from that organization to come for an interview now i don't know whether or not they have given him the job i don't know that part but that's God at work. From a dream, prophecy, you wake up physically with the alert. You didn't apply. Ah. Listen, listen. Don't let men fool you. This God, ba, let me tell you, when God decides to help you, don't tell him how he would do it. Your ways, his ways are higher, higher than our ways. His thoughts higher than our thoughts when when you see it's an act of faith to let god choose how to surprise you yours is to place a demand on his integrity by faith and let him choose how to rise and bless you you may be asking god for a cup of tea whereas he's coming with a hamper for you lord one cup of tea and i'm grateful and god says no if i give you a cup of tea man can also give you let me come with a hamper in a way that you will know this is me are we together three things i want to tell you we'll pray one more time number one god can act very fast he looks slow until he rises from his throne to help you listen to what i'm telling you don't get used to the fact that just because sometimes it looks like God is too slow, God can act mysteriously fast. I was watching a documentary. I like watching documentaries um, and on, on a, a, a National Geographic channel. And then they were showing how these animals, all these, these sea mammals, how they eat one another. And sometimes with lightning speed, 
a giant creature can in fractions of a second just dissect another animal and I said wow so don't be deceived by the weight that it is a giant creature doesn't mean it is slow that your God is mighty that heaven is his throne and the earth is his full stool doesn't mean it would take him 10 years to bend down to touch you he can touch you from his throne and you will feel it from the earth God we are talking God here number one God can act fast so that you don't limit God and say Lord I know you will act but um, no problem no number two listen very carefully God can surpass your wildest imagination now it's difficult to understand but you must believe it God can surpass your wildest imagination he can he can so that it's good that you bring your petitions before him but that you allow your faith to expand to the capacity that can receive everything that God decides to give you and then number three Satan and all the limitations that stand before you listen carefully have been defeated not will be defeated have been defeated what happens in a service like this is an establishing of that victory it's difficult to understand but you must believe this because the reality of our circumstances will not allow us to believe this is a fact but it's true because it came from the mouth of God himself that it is finished verdict is what we have come to enforce so that you don't stand and look at the limitation that stands before you and now begin to ask yourself questions but how will God do this promise how is God going to do this if God does it this way there's already a blockage here if God follows this way it will have to be five years before it happens if God uses this method my uncle already hates me and God says you only gave me three methods I have methods as infinite as my names I can use anything I can use a fish to give you coins I can use a donkey to speak to you I can use a bird to bring you bread it doesn't always have to be men it just has to be material bodies I can use anything are we together so tonight as we pray why are we here you have to understand number one we are here we are here to clear the way the forces remember there will always be forces that contend against the word of God we are here to challenge them because most times those forces stand our way they contend with prophecy when the force that stands against your destiny is cleared away you will be surprised how sometimes within minutes your testimony comes number two we are here to allow the anointing of the Holy Spirit to produce possibilities in our lives the anointing of the Holy Spirit is his force is his instrument for producing change he creates by his anointing it is his word but that word must be anointed are we together now the word of God without an anointing on it for 30 years could not heal anybody could not bless anybody the word just roam around the streets of Nazareth but when the word became anointed it became Christos the anointed so the word of God is coming to your life I want you to be very sensitive whether it is the prophetic word whether it's an instruction to pray whether it is the deliverance session don't just watch people fall and roll and do all of that let your heart connect be angry there is an obstacle for sure you go to bed in the night and all kinds of strange spirits molest you you get up and say it's all right how can it be all right if it's all right who invited them to your life good things about to happen to you all of a sudden your enemies reach your destiny helpers before you and they give a bad word that closes your door recycles your pain again then for many of us what you need is that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will call forth the men the men component God helps by bringing men God can agree with you men can disagree you will still suffer God agreed for David to become king Samuel refused David remained in the wilderness until Samuel agreed men can stop your breakthrough 
it's not just demons. Men can stop your breakthrough. And not all men are castable. There are men who are gates, even though they are hedonistic. God doesn't cast them. He gives you access to their heart. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. There are some enemies you can't drive because they are still gates. Are we together? Lord, I'm ready for you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Lord, I'm ready for you. This is my family. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the Hallelujah, say hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. let me do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. 
I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen. In here, outside, as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you, as you come out here, begin to rejoice. Because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabalakato Sabadasiata. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to my Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. There are chains over you leaving now. There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives. Kabarakatos. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains. Be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken. By the authority of this kingdom. Be broken. Shabarakatos. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I'm commanding chains to break. Bring them out. The anointing of the Spirit is breaking chains. Overflow one, two, three online. Chains. Chains of captivity. All kinds of bondages. Every force of darkness. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, you will know now by the fire that falls on you. This is what the Lord is telling me. I'm about to pray. That if there is anything that is demonic, responsible for the challenge of your family, get ready now. 
because I see a wind of fire moving from this place right there outside I declare it by the power of the Holy Spirit let the fire of the Spirit visit men and women and families now hold on listen I'm still praying listen to me the Bible says that Paul was at a place it was cold in the night and they put wood together when they said the, a viper was there but it could not be seen but when they set fire on the wood the fire exposed the viper I declare Shabbatos Katadia by the fire of the spirit by the fire of the Holy Ghost every viper hiding in any family hiding in any destiny be exposed now be exposed now be exposed now be exposed now every viper every snake scorpion Glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father who was seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father who was seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Forces fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement. Overflow one, lift your hands, please. Everyone in overflow one, lift your hands. The Lord is ministering to me. Overflow one, lift your hands. There is a mighty deliverance that is coming there. At the count of three, overflow one, I want you to shout Jesus. As you shout Jesus, I'm seeing gates with chains breaking. Are you ready now? One, two, three. lady that lady going back I'm looking at a lady but in the spirit I'm watching I'm not saying you're a bad girl my dear all I'm seeing is a serpent I'm not seeing a human being in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I expose that serpent now glory to the father Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very interesting prayer. Don't mind me. Just allow me. I'm ministering under the anointing. I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit and if it doesn't sound logical don't worry just let me do the prayer snakes be judged snakes be judged snakes be 
Chops. Snakes. Serpents of the night. Be judged. Serpents of the night. Be judged. Serpents of the night. Be judged. God is against you. Ebenezer, the helper of man, is against you. Snakes, I say it again. Be judged. Be judged. No rest. No peace. Be judged. Snakes. Be judged. I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing fire, not impartation, fire consuming people's head. And God is saying his restoration of lost glory. That's what I'm seeing. Restoration. Something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away. I'm seeing fire coming on people's heads. Where are they, oh God? I stretch my hands now. Let the fire bring restoration. 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 Help them, please. Restoration. Restoration. I command restoration of every lost glory. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. All those who are out in front under the anointing here, I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood, it leaves you now. One, two, three, go! Go, 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 go out of their lives. In the name of Jesus, out of their lives. When the blood speaks, nothing else speaks again. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here. And I'm seeing that the father in that family, I don't know if he's out of pressure, but went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house. He may not even know it. This is something that happened a while ago. And whatever it is, seemed to backfire. When it came to money issues, he didn't go and pay like, give the herbalist whatever it is that's what God is showing me now and I'm seeing that because of that every door in that family everything just closed I'm going to pray Lord wherever whoever represents that family here whether inside or outside or online I'm praying right now by the mercy of the God of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus, right the name of Jesus. who is Rebecca 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 like Becky Rebecca Rebecca, I'm hearing a name, Rebecca. Rebecca. You are seated on the throne. Stand up. You are Rebecca. 
That's the person I'm talking about. Come. Stand up. You are seated on the throne. Madam, where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing program. you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You came alone? I came with my niece. And my younger brother and my cousins, they live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. My, you, but you came from Abuja. Yes, I came from Abuja. What's your name? Asma Rebecca. 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 Asmao. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia, the place where God dwells. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power that fights you. In the name of Jesus Christ, this woman is going to return with very strange testimonies. Mama, you are Rebecca. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. The Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Samnaka. Please help this woman. Are they, are they, this mama, are they Rebecca? Mama, are you Rebecca? Huh? You are Rebecca, mama? Okay. This one, too, I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Samnaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes, Come, sir. I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end this captivity. The lady that is going back, tap her. Just tell her to look at me. Just look at me. It's over now in Jesus' name. All of you are Rebecca. My dear, salvation is coming. An anointing is leaving me to you. And it's for your family. From next month, you will start hearing strange testimonies. Open doors. Mama, you are Rebecca. Who else is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. I'm going to pray for you. Ma, I have to pray for you. Yes, ma. The spirit of death is following your family. I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. I command the spirit of death. One of you here, I'm, I don't know which of you, but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Um, the Lord is bringing deliverance. Right now, you can't stand it. It's, it's the power of God. One of you, an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance. Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. There's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. He, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ. Um, this this mama doesn't speak English. I think she speaks Yoruba. She, she speaks Yoruba. Who is? Ejimi, can you come or someone? Just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough. You can whisper it in her ear. It doesn't have to be. It's your mother. Come. The Lord is breaking. The Lord is breaking a yoke, the yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire, just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay, I'm about to pray on it. But since, since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, I say it again, be judged now. The spirit of delay, shadow kasudosh. The spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, open your heart, open your heart and pray. The spirit of delay, be judged now. Any kind of delay, the spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, 
Be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now. Breakthrough for your family. God is bringing breakthrough. Mama, God is bringing breakthrough. Your son will tell you in Yoruba. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's something on you that makes wrong people come to you. I have to pray for you. Are you I'm looking at you. Very bad people come to you for bad reasons. No serious person. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to start bringing long. It's not, there is something, there's a spirit in you that attracts those kind of people. They will never pass you and go free. They must turn back. And this thing is destroying your life. Hold my hands. Shout Jesus. Look at this. So you just think it's just love. You are in love with a beautiful girl. It's not just love. Out now. Go. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again. And this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now. From any strange power, any force of darkness. If you don't know your state of origin and you are from there, you can know it now by the anointing. In the name of Jesus, anyone from that region, that's the region the anointing of the Spirit is focusing on now. I command deliverance now. The strong men within those regions, let God's people go now. Release them right now. The spirits of the grave, the spirits of ancestry, I cost you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. your hands we'll pray for the sick shortly but there are people here why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing I just saw it I don't know where they are they're in almost every overflow there are representations Lord Jesus anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing let that anointing come this is your moment now receive it now ordained by God to receive this anointing today ordained by God to receive the grace for healing I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team two people worship team that anointing that grace hallelujah glory to the Lamb the anointing to heal the sick you don't just pray for the sick. There is an anointing. I say it again. The anointing to bring healing. To transport the power of God. From the throne to their lives. Receive that anointing right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama. Come please. Please help her. She's not running by herself. It's under the anointing. Mama, I see a new dimension of healing coming on you. A new dimension, just hold her. A new dimension of healing 
in the name of Jesus Christ ah, this mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised there is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness for barrenness I'm praying help that lady please in the name of Jesus receive that anointing mama in the name of Jesus Christ the grace the grace in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is asking me to stand in front of you just to stand in front of you that's the instruction I'm getting the light shines out of darkness God is removing something from your chest I'm seeing something leaving you I don't know what this is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in front of you. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. All of you who are standing here in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. And I declare, come, let me touch your child. I'm going to pray for favor. When you hear me say favor, lift your hands and receive. You need it in your life. Too many people have taken advantage of you. Even as... I'm seeing people laughing. That's, that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing. It's a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing. Very strange anointing. You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he's, he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. So my dear, when I'm praying for favor, please you stand to receive it. Eh? But I bless your child. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. There's someone, your family member has been missing. This is more than one year. Who is that person? Because the person who is missing is still alive. Let, if she's the one, who is missing? Don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, Your I talked father. to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, and you remember. prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? We've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin sister. Your cousin sister is missing. Yes. Sir. All these people, they are, Shaka, leave them. Shaka, their loved ones are Shaka. just fine. Now, once they are, don't please, if, if you are not related to the people, don't please don't come here. We are going to pray generally. If you, if you do it like that, there will be chaos. How about you? Yes, sir, my in law. Your in law? Yes, sir. What do you mean, your in law? From the United States. Okay. All of you, your loved ones are missing. Your loved one is missing. Who is that? Your younger brother. Missing. missing. Since when? 2014. 2014? Yes. They've not seen him? Yes, sir. You see how Satan works? How can somebody leave home? For you to sympathize with people, put them in your shoes. Imagine that your child left home and said, Mommy, I'm coming, and never comes back. I'm prophesying to you three years. Your child went and said, Mommy, I'm coming. Until today. Come, Mama. Give her the mic. Hold on, Mama. Your, ch your child is alive. This boy, you see, are they twins or is it the same person? This one. He's the only one. What happened to him? He left school 
I put him in APU, he refused. Polly, he refused. He's busy taking drugs, going about lying to people that his parents are dead. All over our times, they call me in the police station or your state, Port Harcourt, that is arrested. I don't know how they set him free at times. You see, our, honestly, let me speak towards young people. It's, it's okay, Mama. He's your only son. Your only son. One, one, okay, one. That's you all. Know? Yes. You, that's how you know it's a spirit. Because the devil sat down and saw that these boys will bring joy to the mother. And then the devil decided to, if, will the lady not marry and go? Huh? He's very intelligent. In school, he was in the APU. He left the school. And went away. What's his name? Awal is his name. Awal. Awal. Yes. Hi. We are going to pray. Like a month ago, from what God is showing me, this boy had problem with police. They were smoking. In the they were he, smoking he, Igbo. He, police came and packed them with he his friends. Drugs. This is what, Mama, let me talk to you now. I'm the one talking to you. I know. You see, when you see me pray about this, this drug, this thing, that drug is a spirit. It's more than with due respect to doctors and this thing. It's not just because of the physical thing it gives. I'm telling you, that thing is a spirit. If you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing, counseling is not the way out. There is a real spirit that must be casted out. Are we together? Some of you here right now, seated in this program, you love God, but that, what, what they, they call it, codeine, again. Uh, mama, 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 don't worry. It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Because you see the way these boys are desperate for this money. They will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie. You give them 100 naira. You give, once you give them enough to take this thing, they will disappear and go and rubbish it. Let me tell you, there is none of those boys that is bad in himself. There is none of those girls that are bad in themselves. It's the influence of spirits. Nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day. Mama, you have come for miracle service. God will do something about you in this situation. Who is this, my brother? It's my mom's younger brother. Your for mom's over, younger brother? Yes, He's for missing. over 10 years, we have not seen him. 10 years, yes, you have not seen him. Oh, pray. How about you, sir? My elder brother. You're the brother. pastor that came from Warrior. Yeah, okay. From Delta State. From Delta State, okay. Uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago. We really forget, forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. Let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. And I'm saying this, I'm using this mother as a point of contact, not just to every mother here, but to all our mothers. The force that wants them to labor and die in pain, go to their graves in pain, we challenge that force now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's an error to sow and someone reap. In the name of Jesus, every true mother that has labored to sow, may they reap in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying, everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here, I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. Jesus called Lazarus and when he called Lazarus he came out I called them by their various names in the spirit for as long as they are alive and walking on this earth I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families 
those who have been jailed because you see some of these people let's be very fair some of them they they smuggle their way out of the country they go to libya they go to all of these places some of them go to do prostitution unfortunately some of them go because they want to make money someone tells them come travel and all of that so some of them they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know but regardless of the case for as long as they are on earth we cry for mercy in the name of jesus christ may they be reconnected back to you in jesus name god bless you please go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing i hope someone is holding that person shouting me my friend come you are doing your ushering work but i will pray for you before you go back eh? look at me i'm looking at you the lord is telling me to tell you august 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you hold my hands august 7th don't forget write it father in the name of jesus i pray for this gentleman you have revealed to me august 7th i prophesy to him in the name of jesus christ may god change your life within that time may god change your life within that time may god change your life within that time i'm seeing a ring a ring in the spirit i'm seeing a ring in the spirit i'm seeing a ring ordinary when you see a ring you would think maybe god is saying he's bringing marriage maybe marriage to families but this one god is delivering people from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives right now i stretch my hands that's why it's important to let the holy ghost interpret things i know that many of you may not believe what i'm praying but you just allow me pray every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife i set fire on this ring i see in the spirit be free from them now ladies be free now i command those spirit entities to release you in the name of jesus christ for the gentleman i command freedom for you now from any entity laying claims over you you go to bed and they come to you in the night they try to molest you they try to sleep with you they can use faces of people you know or you don't know or animals anyone under the sound of my voice who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep fire is coming on you now 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 i command that they let you go now for some of us when good things are about to happen just when you are about to get it you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream as soon as you wake up from that experience no matter what it is it's gone whether it is favor whether it is breakthrough Fire is still speaking. I'm praying. At the count of three. Oh God, you who is a mighty deliverer. I pray that your anointing will search for these ones. And bring them deliverance now. One, two, three. Let there be deliverance for you now. Deliverance for you now. From any spirit entity. Laying claims on your destiny. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This lady with lime, yes, you, come. No. Look at me, look at me. I'm talking, at that one with you, yes, come. Where are you coming from? 
Benway. Benway State. Look at me. Look at this. Are you seeing? She just stood there. And while I was looking, I just saw a spirit through her look at me and turn the face. Now, it's very funny how these things work. See, one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes. If your eyes are closed in this life and all that is open is your brain, you will be in trouble. Open eyes is not something just for prophets. It's one of the true riches of the kingdom. You must cry that God will open your eyes. Not to see nonsense around, to see something that is destiny molding. Now look at this girl. How will I stand and see someone there and call her out? Imagine that this lady went back like this. To her she will now say, oh God, so this is how you didn't locate me. Sensitivity, discernment is a priceless spiritual gift. Sensitivity. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. Not wishing, praying in the Holy Ghost. You activate your organs. You have to pray for a long time in the spirit. For your spirit to be heightened. To be able to perceive spiritual things. Otherwise you will get into all kinds of error. Wrong perception. That you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear. You must continue in the place of prayer until it becomes accurate. I just showed you the thing of ring now. Some of you may see that ring now and then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were. You see, it was something else, but it's a ring. This lady has bad luck in her life. Very bad luck. I have to pray for you. She just came quietly standing. This I would have shared the grace. And the dear lady will go back. And then it will look as if God is not in the place. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing you cough. I'm seeing her cough. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. That she's beginning to cough. I don't know why, what is having to do with coughing. But in the name of Jesus Christ. Shatoskalabariandashibrasia. Let everything that speaks against you leave now. This lady swallowed something in the dream. Someone came to her, gave her something, and she swallowed in the dream. If you ever say you like this girl, everything in your life goes down immediately. I'm not saying she's a bad girl. Please don't get me wrong. I'm teaching her something here. She's not a bad girl, but this is the operation in her life. There are people, do you know why we minister to people like that? This is what sometimes prophets see, that if they don't get discernment, they go around saying, someone now may not see this correctly and say this girl is a witch he's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with her life you can come now and hold her hands as a businessman in two months of relationship everything goes down and she knows she loves god but if you are not discerning you will now call the poor girl a witch and everybody will start running away from her she's not a witch there is just a challenge and then if you also say she's all right like that and somebody marries her that guy's life will be torn into pieces this is the testimony of so many families it's an uncomfortable truth but it's true human beings carry spirits they carry presence father liberty for her the devil is already ah someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid 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 i just saw a hand reaching into someone's like someone's stomach to bring out something in the name of jesus christ that devil of fibroid will pray for the sick shortly will be very fast at it fibroid is gone now in the name of jesus christ 
our time is gone can we pray for the sick very quickly now listen I want you if you are coming here to be prayed for come full of faith you don't have to say what is wrong with you if you are not asked don't worry and all of us who are going to pray for the sick we are going to make this very fast are we together now um, as always overflow one and part of overflow two part of overflow two you will come in here come and stand in front here uh, no no not main auditorium sorry not overflow one the main auditorium and then half of overflow two allow them to come here overflow one move to your projector stand please the remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three all of you trusting god for healing please move to your projector stand we have about 10 15 minutes to do this very quickly while we are doing that ushers and uh, I, I don't know whatever whoever needs to help them submit your prayer requests very quickly if you have your prayer request you are coming out here for healing come come there is a god that heals please if you have your prayer request you can lift it up write it very quickly no no the ushers will collect it ushers and and then if if there are not many pr department can help them let's make it snappy or any other department can help them let's let's make it very We're going to make it very fast please and please let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for we may not have time to take testimonies we are just going to pray very very quickly hallelujah okay let's see um ejimi ejimi and benga overflow three two of you can go to overflow three um let's see pastor alpha and promise overflow one outside pastor femi and kenny overflow two let's do it like that I'll, I'll pray i'll pray for the ones here by myself hallelujah let's pray together in the name of jesus everybody say amen, amen. father we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow heal the sick deliver the oppressed and in the name of Jesus, bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Please make sure while we are praying, the ushers also come to these people in front so that we can have it. We'll be very, very fast so that we finish on time. Thank you, Jesus. You're the name above every other name.
It's not a ritual. Declare that everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online, connect by faith. I'm praying now. Make sure you are praying. Prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. If the devil didn't stop your request from getting here, he will not stop it from being answered. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. I anoint this request. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders, breakthroughs, impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf, and I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today, in the name that is above all names, may you see them no more forever. I say it again that the Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. Some of you, before this month is over, you will return with strange testimonies. It's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month. Between now and even tomorrow, may you return with strange testimonies. Whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered, may it be so. Whoever must receive a conviction about you between tonight and tomorrow or till whenever for this prayer to be answered we declare it so in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ put your hands together for Jesus lift your hands to receive the prophetic word now we're rounding up the miracle service is not complete if you don't receive a prophetic word. Prophecy is powerful. It's powerful. It creates. I release testimonies to your life. Let me say it again because many of you didn't believe it. I release testimonies to your life. 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 
the key that you need to open the door for the next level may be handed it over to you in the spirit the kind of favor that you will need to testify in the name of Jesus may the God that gives favor to men grant you favor in the name of Jesus for those in need of restoration I prophesy receive restoration for those in need of an urgent miracle a miracle that has to happen on time otherwise it will cost you I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names let it happen to you even within 24 hours let there be that miracle. for those who have never had an opportunity to laugh every time you want to laugh something comes that must force you to cry I announce to you the season of your laughter begins tonight where you have been despised I place an anointing upon you and tonight I call you Beulah and Hephzibah in the name of Jesus Christ anyone here in ministry and things are not working you are doing your best but it's just not working receive the grace to begin to walk in a greater dimension of signs and wonders anyone here in business in the name of Jesus you are entering the season of your best days from now anyone here trusting God for a job for you or for your loved ones between now and the next miracle service return with your testimony return with your testimony return with your testimony every challenge plaguing your family not just you a family thing everyone is crying from it could be patterns could be whatever it is I stretch my hands right now and in the name that is above all names I bring those patterns to an end now for those trusting God for financial miracles your miracle, the area you are trusting God is directly in the area of finances. I agree with you and I release my faith. May the God that prospers men surprise you. Everyone here called barren or standing in for any barren person, return as a mother of joyful children. The anointing that makes things work. The grace for performance. I release that grace upon your life. Everything that is upon your hand now, I command it to work. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I announce to you, let July, from July 1st to July 31st, may it be named a month of strange miracles. Strange wonders. Strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders in the name of Jesus Christ tonight for some of you as you sleep may my God show you the secrets of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ every area where you are trusting God to give you divine direction in the name of Jesus every spiritual mechanism that God can use to communicate to you I declare that let it be so for you revelation after revelation finally whoever needs to arise and help you they already have the capacity all they need is the willingness I pray for you let me tell you breakthrough is very easy when your helper likes you your helper has the means but he needs to have the heart some have the heart but they don't have the means you need both i prophesy to you in the name of jesus that any man and woman position around you that has the ability to help you i pray that god will put it in their hearts to help you i speak over your life a new level of spiritual encounters I say it again, a new level of spiritual encounters. For some of you, 
I'm holding my Bible as a prophetic act because some of you have divorced this book not willingly but by reason of the operation of spirit the only time you open your Bible is in church or a koinonia right now fall in love with this Bible fall in love with the Word of God an appetite for the Word of God I release upon you every kind of spiritual laziness you say I wake up to pray by 12 and sleep till 8 in the morning or you get up to pray and five minutes you are snoring back it's an attack I cast that spirit over your life fresh fire upon your prayer altar in the name of Jesus Christ we declare peace over Nigeria we declare peace over the north we declare peace over Plateau State. We declare peace over Kaduna State. We declare peace over Zaria. Specifically for Zaria, we fortify the spiritual borders of this city. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that no orchestration of darkness will arise to disrupt the peace and serenity of the people. May the angels of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, secure the borders of this city. Secure the borders of the north. And we pray that the perpetrators of wickedness be judged by God in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are here and you need Jesus desperately. Keep standing please. You need Jesus desperately, desperately. You're saying, man of God, I need Jesus as a matter of urgency. I have seen the value. I have seen the usefulness of Jesus in my life. Hitherto, every time I hear about Jesus, I, I resent him. I scorn and laugh at those who talk about him. But from tonight's meeting, the Holy Spirit has convicted me. And I testify. And with all humility, I declare that I need him second category of people man of god i love jesus with all my heart but i know that i need a strengthening in my spiritual life things have gone haywire if god does not help me there will be no way out for me you belong to these two categories overflow one overflow two main auditorium i like you to walk out here quickly overflow three i like you to run to your projector stand very quickly i'm counting one to five and we're done one god bless you appreciate them koinonia they are coming two you're still indecisive. It's not good for your destiny. Jesus, I love you. I want to make a genuine decision for you. Three. Please, if they are coming from other overflows, clear the way for them. You are running to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. No man condemns you. You are before his throne of grace to obtain mercy, to obtain grace. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Four. Please come quickly, quickly, double up. Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. I remember coming out for an altar call, but I, I honestly don't know the name of what I'm doing now. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Jesus said, ye must be born again. Salvation is non-negotiable. Listen, let me encourage everyone. Koinonia is not the only platform for genuine salvation. The first mission of this ministry is massive salvation of souls. We must seek and save the lost. Not just save the lost when they come to us. We must seek them. Are we together? Because many of them may not be in a position ordinarily where they can receive salvation. We seek them through intercession. We seek them by engaging them in the conversation that leads them to Christ. God bless you. Lift your hands, all of you. Some of you are crying. You are standing before the Lord. Honestly, the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Say this loud after me. You are making a confession to the God of heaven. Say, Jesus. Say it again. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. 
tonight I declare that I need you I need you in my life I need you in my destiny therefore I declare that you are my Lord you are my Savior you are my King I hand over my life and everything about me to you and to your Lordship I receive eternal life I receive the Spirit of God and I declare from today until forever I belong to Jesus I declare that I'm a child of God the grace to walk in victory is mine amen keep your hands lifted Jesus thank you father we give you all the glory for drawing these ones no man can come to you except you draw them I pray that the grace that keeps men let that grace keep these ones the grace that lifts men let that grace lift them the grace that secures them let that grace secure them in the name of Jesus I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the grace to walk in victory be given to you you will move forward ever and backward never in Jesus name I pray congratulations thank you so much for this bold decision please I like you to follow this gentleman waving his hands just follow them in concert all of you there'll be a group of people to just talk and pray with you very quickly all of you God bless you let's honor them let's appreciate them hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.